Now let's say I wanted to insert a photo into this slide. How easy is it? It's as simple as going up to insert, going down the picture, from file, I want to go to pictures, look at samples, and let's just insert one of these sample photos um, that I have on my computer. Boom, right there. I inserted a photo. Now I can actually reduce the size of that photo. I can drag it around on the screen. And I just inserted a photo, and it was that, that simple. Now some of the other options available in OpenOffice Impress, if you go to the right where we showed you the thumbnails, of the layouts before. If you go in the master pages above it, you'll see that you actually have some templates that you can choose if you wanted. Um, if I click on a, one of these templates, you'll see that the background changes. It's that simple. If you also wanted to go down to table designs, they have those options. And then you also have your custom animation and then your slide transitions. And this would work well if you're showing your presentation on the screen. If, of course, if you're printing your presentation out on, on paper or overheads or something like that, you know, you wouldn't use any of those options. But uh, for an on-screen presentation, they have everything that you would need as far as animation and slide transitions. Now, up top, you also have all the pull downs that you would normally have within a presentation package. So in Press you have your file where you can save out or you can import or export. What I like is actually you can take your presentation and export it as a PDF file, which is great. If you if you want to actually send this to someone online or over email and you don't want to send them a actual presentation, you can send them the PDF. Now they have edit you can actually go in here and edit your points. You can copy and paste. You can also go to view, to view your slide different ways if you wanted to go to the slide sorter. So that's a different option instead of coming down here above the, uh, above the actual slide and hitting on a tab, you might want to go up to view. I think that's a little bit out of the way. You probably want to just hit these tabs. That seems to be a lot easier. Now you also have insert. Insert, you can insert a picture, a table, movie, sound, chart, you name it, you can import it in here. You can also set up your page numbering, date and time, so all different types of options. Under format is where you would format your characters or maybe a paragraph. You can actually do, do your bullets and numbering. So there's many options as far as your formatting. Under tools, that's where you would have your spelling. There's other tools like a gallery, things like that under tools. And of course you have your slideshow. To rehearse your timing, it's great to open the slide sorter view. You can actually bring your slides up, hit the enter key to go on to another slide, and you read through your presentation. And it would actually create the timing available for each one of those um, enter clicks. And that's the same with PowerPoint. You can actually create your own timing. We'll have another video down the road just on rehearsing timing. And what I'll do is I'll create one for PowerPoint and one for Impress. So that way you can see the difference. We'll have that as one video and we'll break that into two. One for PowerPoint and one for Impress. So you have all the same options in here as you would in PowerPoint. And it's not going to cost you anything. Other than your time, you know, putting the presentation together, there's no reason to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on a software package when you can get Impress for nothing. What I'd like to do now is open a PowerPoint presentation in OpenOffice Impress. Now, earlier in another video, I created a PowerPoint presentation using the new Microsoft Office 2010. And I saved that out two different ways one as a 2010 PowerPoint presentation and another one as an earlier version of PowerPoint. I want to show you the difference. So these are little tricks of the trade that you can do in order to open a PowerPoint presentation with the new version of PowerPoint. Now if I go up to file and I hit open, I'll see that I have two versions here of a PowerPoint presentation. This version here is under the new Microsoft PowerPoint presentation, Microsoft 2010. If I click on that and I hit open, 
you'll see right away that when I open this presentation I don't really get anything other than the copy that I added to my presentation and even then I don't get all the copy as I see now here's a, a bulleted slide that I put together now you won't see a heading on here because when I created that heading in PowerPoint 2010 I had a soft drop shadow and everything now you'll also notice there's no background well that's because that background was created in PowerPoint 2010 now how do I show my backgrounds well all I did is when I had PowerPoint 2010 I saved it in an older version so if you go up the file again let's get rid of this window if I go up the file again and hit open I have another version of that same presentation that I saved out as 97 to 2003 presentation of PowerPoint if I click on that file there then hit open right there you'll see that I can open my PowerPoint presentation that I created in Microsoft Office 2010 and it looks exactly the way that it did when I created this in that version of PowerPoint now not everything I can edit like these titles I can't edit those but what I can do is I can edit the text that I created I can edit the bullets and those types of things now if I didn't go in here and I do all this fancy stuff to the headings I can actually edit those headings as well but these headings have a soft drop shadow but if you compare this presentation to what I created in PowerPoint you'll see that this impress is an exact duplicate of what I created in PowerPoint why would this be necessary if you created this presentation and you wanted to send this presentation to a client or if you wanted to send this to a uh, someone within your company and they happen not to have PowerPoint on their computer if they have open office you can actually import your PowerPoint presentation into open office and send them a copy now the other thing that you can do is you can actually save this out as a PDF file so you can always do that and send them the PDF file now if they wanted to edit some things within your presentation then this is what you would send them as you can see Open Office Impress is very similar to Microsoft PowerPoint. And in some cases, Impress is better. Um, it doesn't cost you a dime to download. You can utilize it on any computer, and you can even send copies to other people. So, Impress is really impressive. And this video is only hitting on the tip of the iceberg with this software. Um, I'll have other videos down the road that will get more in depth that will show you how to create charts that will show you how to put together some formatting designs and things like that so uh, check back for more videos on open office and press and thank you for watching this video